Today we're looking at the Greenlight Hollywood Series 8 six car set. Just got this delivered to my door. It's mid-January so for some of you you've probably already got this set. Uh, I think it was released early January or late December. But anyways I'm gonna do a review on it. I'm sure you uh, probably have seen a review of it before but I'm not sure if there's a full six car set review out there so we're gonna do that anyways. And the first one I'm going to look at here is the 69 Chevy Chevelle. Extremely detailed, as all things green light are. Right down to the trim on the doors and the headlights and whatnot. Nice big wheels. So these are pretty cool. Should I open these up or should I leave them in the package? That's the question. I'm thinking I probably should open them up at some point because the packaging doesn't really mean a whole lot to me, the movies and whatnot. Um, so if you want to know more about the movies then I suggest you look that up separately because this video is about the cars, not about the movies. As I collect die cast for the cars. Although it's pretty cool when they do movie cars such as the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters or uh, the Blues Brothers cars and all that other stuff, but some of these movies are fairly obscure for many of us including this one the hunter Unless the, I'm just not very movie savvy perhaps, but it certainly is a nice Rendition of the 79 Pontiac Firebird nonetheless It's even got those separate little t-tops on the roof They look separate, but they're probably part of the plastic windscreen and rear window just painted separately which is a really nice touch and of course lots of detail including a license plate and tail lights nice thick tires on these green lights and a show I don't watch this show Supernatural but this is a cool looking 70 Dodge Challenger it's got little rust spots on it, the primer gray door. Nice detailed front end with the turn signal lights painted and everything. Got the flat black roof, white interior. Make a good junkyard car. And Anchorman. This is the second release of the Anchorman van. It was released in Series 7 without the uh, ladder on the roof so this one is more authentic to the movie although uh, I'm not sure it's a hundred percent authentic but pretty good rendition it's a nice van and uh, pretty heavy casting these things are all metal numbered catch me if you can there's another mid 90's movie Pretty sure, anyways. But nice '64 Chevy uh, Chevelle. Look at the grill work on this this car. It's even got every letter from Chevrolet stenciled uh, appropriately on the hood of the car, and the badging. Nice red metallic paint. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And the last car from the series, another police car. Greenlight loves doing their Ford Crown Victoria police cars. And uh, I don't collect these normally just because they've released so many of these uh, Crown Victorias. But if you're a police car fan and you want to collect police material, Greenlight's a good option to look at for die cast because they do a really nice job with the cars and I'll bet you could find just about any state with the authentic police graphics on the car. So that's pretty cool. So that's the green light Hollywood series 8. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment or a question if you have one. Thank you.